Hi, welcome to uh, dwcarving.com. So, what we have here is a, uh, a carving that I did up, a piece of artwork that encapsulates three different mediums. So you have the medium of, which is growing now, epoxy art, so epoxy resin. You have paintings, which is on the back, and we'll see that in a minute. And we have wood carving, that's up here. Putting them all together into, uh, into a group of three was a little more difficult than I first expected it to be, uh, being that the wood carving had to be done first. So the iceberg was done first, and then it had to be painted, but not painted in the normal way. So if you painted it like with a brush and you put a thick coat on it, when you poured epoxy on top of it, the epoxy would stick and adhere to the paint, but would not adhere to the wood, and you'd have separation, and this whole piece uh, that weighs four kilos plus would fall down. It wouldn't stay connected together. So it needed to be completely connected together. So when this was carved uh, and painted, it was painted with an airbrush, uh, it thinned out the paint so it became more of a stain, which meant that when the epoxy resin was poured on top and in around these groups and through here, on the iceberg that it would actually adhere to it and have a good connection and it wouldn't come apart. So that's what was actually done with this uh, and along in the back. So it was all connected together. So once that was done, uh, when you do, if you haven't done epoxy resin, uh, it's basically pouring water into a bowl. Uh, if you have a good bowl, it won't leak. If you don't have a good bowl, it leaks all over your floor. You have to get it right first. The mold is very important and uh, the material you use in the mold uh, you, if you're going to use this, you have to do some research. There's a lot of stuff that the epoxy resin will stick to, and a lot of stuff the epoxy resin will not stick to. Uh, if you used a tape, then you'd end up with tape lines, you'd have a lot more sanding. If you use the plastic sheeting, it could fold up with a wrinkle. There's all kinds of issues you may have. Luckily, I worked through all of that and got to make this. Now, so this was done, the carving was done. While this carving was being done, the painting was being done. Painting's done on a separate board, uh, up in a different art room, and then it's placed on the back. There's actually a groove in the back, you'll see that we made when we poured the epoxy to allow for the paint, uh, the painting to fit into it. So it fits into it nice and even. And gets secured on so it's not gonna come apart. So the polar bear and the ice is actually done out of white poplar. White poplar is very, well it's white, it's very white. Uh, the trick here is when you, when I painted this, the ice, I only used an airbrush on the top. I needed to make sure that it was pure white behind it in case uh, it didn't soak all the way through. And if you look, you can see white in here. That's not paint. So that's the actual wood. Uh, and that's what it achieved. It, it allowed me to not use a thick coat of paint. You know, used a, a spray. And it's, it's a hard wood, so it's hard. The polar bear is the same way. Once it was carved out, uh, it allowed you to put some textures and some colors in there. Most of that is unpainted. It's white. That's the color of the wood. That's the natural color. And that's why that was, uh, that was chosen. So, look at the back. You see where the paint the painting was attached to the back. Okay. It's, uh, it's cut out right along that edge. Two types of uh, hooks for the person to hang it up, depending on where they're going to hang it. When it's finished, obviously our label signed by the uh, the painter and we have our signature coin that's connected right there into the uh, the carving now i do that for just about all of my carvings there will be a coin that's either hidden inside the carving or somewhere like this in the plastic seal it helps date it plus on the other side of that is a note right and it's a note about basically this on how it was carved because eventually over the years this will be gone but that note will be there. So yard sale 2095. Look for the coin. <laughs> Alright. Put this back up. So the last thing was once we got all this together and I was happy with the epoxy, I noticed that when I put the epoxy on it was perfectly smooth, like glass. And we gave a mirror effect. Uh, or, a, or a window effect. Didn't like that. I needed to have it look more three-dimensional and even look watery. So I put another coat on top, a very fine coat, designed a top coat, designed to go on top of epoxy, and then streaked it. 
with my gloved hand and then let it dry. It's flattened out, but it left a very rippled sort of water texture. It's still smooth all through it, but it's just rippled enough that it gives sort of a 3D effect from a distance. And that's what I, what I want to achieve. I would be like to have more of a 3D effect, but I was afraid with the color it might lose the painting in the back, and I need to see the orca in the background. Okay, and there you have it. Took uh, about two and a half weeks to make, uh, if I work continuously, but it took about two months to figure it out with the epoxy and the wood and the paint to make it work. I think it looks cool. <laughs>